Hello! Okay, I want to talk to you guys about something that I found really, really exciting. So if you are a VIP kid teacher and you use Minicam, this is going to be really helpful for you. So, <laughs> I downloaded this app. It's called Magnetic ABC and this is awesome. You have a blank board right here and you have the alphabet. You can pull in whatever letters you want and then you can make the CVC blending right here on your app. J et. Pull that down. G et. Pull that down. B et. And you can keep doing this. So I'm thinking this app is amazing. Why am I not using this for Minicam? And then I couldn't figure out how to um, stream this app onto my Minicam. So I'm sitting here with this amazing app and I have no use for it. <laughs> so I asked, that's when I asked on Facebook and Sammy was nice enough to get back to me and she said that there's a thing that you can download on your computer called Reflector. So I went on to the Reflector site. It's actually Reflector version 2 now. You can buy it. Before you buy it, you can try it. So I downloaded it and I'm trying it right now. It still has the watermark on it because, you know, it's free. Now I can take this app and I can stream it to my computer. So that's what Reflector does. It'll take whatever's on your phone or your iPad or anything, any other device, and stream it onto your computer. Now from your computer, Medicam actually has the capability to grab different screens depending on what you tell it to grab. First of all, I want to talk about this app. So it's got all your uppercase letters and then just for $1.99, it's got your lowercase letters too, but not just your lowercase letters, it has letters in cursive and it also has all your numbers. With your numbers, it also has all the plus, minus, equals, multiplication, division, um, percentages, dollar signs, pretty much any other uh, character that you would need to help teach your classes with is right here. You can buy a couple different expansions. One of the ones that I bought, just so that I could show you, because I think that this is really cool for rewards and stuff, is I bought an undersea reward here. And what I'm thinking, and I got all these characters right here, and if the kids do a good job, what I do, I bring them onto the screen. Oh, you got a swimmer! Swimming! Yay! Great job! Dee -dee -dee. And that's not the only one. There's tons of different expansions that you can buy and they're really only about 99 cents per expansion. There's a monster one, a woods one, a pirate one, outer space. There's a princess one, construction workers, vehicles when you're talking about transportation. It's very, very cool. And there's lots of um, different uses for this. Like here is the farm one. And I know that there's a lot of lessons on farm animals and stuff. So this could be even helpful during the lesson. You could literally mix this up every day and like have enough for like the kids to be happy forever. <laughs> and that's why I was like, I need a way to get this on the Minicam. So here's how you do it. On your computer, you download Reflector and it tells you, okay, now you need to connect it to your iPad. So what you do is you go onto your iPad or um, onto your phone or whatever, go to the app store and there's a Reflector app. There's a Reflector Director, which is like $7. And I don't know why, because there's a Reflector student that's free. So I picked the Reflector student and I was able to download it fine and open it just fine. And so I didn't really have a problem with that. <laughs> well, we got something a little messed up here. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, hold on. That's me and my husband. <laughs> okay, so you open it up right there and it comes to this screen. So then you go to Auto Discovery. And then up here in the corner, it's gonna tell you, uh, it's gonna ask you what you wanna to connect to. And after you've connected it to, to your device, you swipe up, and then you select AirPlay Monitoring, AirPlay Mirroring. <laughs> select that, make sure it's connected to your computer, and voila. So it's now casting right onto my screen. And so now I exit out of it, 
And now I can go into my uh, al magnetic alphabet. Alphabet ABC. Or, I'm sorry. Alphabet ABC. The alphabet, or the magnetic alphabet. I can never get that name right. Huh. You can go and you can select different backgrounds. But you can use this for all of your letters. You can talk about small a and big a and i can move this around and i can rescale it i bought the scene and you can use this for your rewards okay guys so here's where we get to the main part of this how do we get this app to stream onto Minicam so that the students can see it without seeing this terrible glare from the light reflector is scalable so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so that I can see it right next to my mini cam. Now what I wanna do is picture in picture mode so that I'm up here, but I can still show the video down here. So here's what we're gonna do. Right click on here, desktop, and then what I can do is I can go to the app window and I can pick reflector 2, Sarah's iPad. And if I click on that, it will show the iPad right here in the screen so that the student will be able to see me up here and my iPad down there. So when I make changes on the physical iPad, <laughs> then they'll see it on their screen. But mm, I don't think I want them to see the rewards before I put them up onto the screen. So what I'm actually gonna do is instead of doing app window, I'm gonna do a custom area. Now the way I do a custom area is that it's gonna give me this small space. So then I'm gonna move it over to where I want it to be on this app. I think I just wanted to take up that much of the app. So then I'm gonna say, okay. And that's what the student sees. They just see the environment and not all that stuff around it so that they can actually see it much bigger. Ah, there we go, much better. Now we can put our woolly mammoth. And I'm doing all of that right here on the iPad and it's translating to my screen. What I can do is I can also make this full screen and it's all the students can see. So I can put my characters up in the sky and they can watch as the bird flies. If you find a really good use for this and you know you find a really great app that is also being able to be used for this, then just let me know because I'm really curious to find other ways to use this because I really, really love it myself. If you like this video or if you have questions, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Goodbye.